hello this is a part 2 of the midpoint circle algorithm and here i have removed all the command lines so let me just compile and run the program once again to show what the final outcome of the program is let me give you the radius and then you will see the circle is generating slowly and steadily and here it is getting framed up as the value has been is been plotted over here and you can see that slowly and steadily the pixels are getting formulated and uh, there is a slight delay in the process because I have given the delay function call so that you can be able to see how the value actually gets formulated and each reflection is taking place over here as you can see that these reflections are getting increased as the value are being plotted over here. The point to be noted during this delay let, let, let's see that is uh, over here as I said that the y value which is actually a sign of the radius and the decision parameter uh, is calculated based on uh, 1.25 minus r is actually the negative value and uh, since it's a negative less than zero so the if condition was getting to be executed true and as a result the d is again calculated if you see the output over here by now slowly the circle is getting framed up and uh, see over here the d value is minus nine is minus 95 so each time the d value is reducing down slowly and steadily a time will come when the d value will become on the positive end and then the else part this is the last time it's working and then the else part will actually give, uh, turns out to be true and when the else part will be true just what you can see is a 0.25 this is the positive end so the else part is going to be true and then when the y value is reduced down so initially the y value was 100 as the radius was given by me was 100 and now the y value reduced to 99. So once the y value reduced to 99, the point to be noted over here is yc that was 199 will, that's the reason it was 99 over here. That means 199 minus 100 was 99. But once it becomes on the positive end, see just like the way you saw over here, uh, let me just show you once. Once it becomes on the positive end, then the else part is going to be true. Uh, let me show you over here the number are getting fluctuated that's the reason yeah see over here the value is now 99 the reason of this 99 is the initial y value which was 100 now becomes 99 so 99 uh, uh, and then it has been subtracted with 100 and 100 and 99 minus 99 we get to see the 99 over there and that's the reason the 99 has been printed so that will be retained until and unless the thing gets terminated and then it becomes on the positive end and by and large slowly the uh, the pixels are getting generated and you can see how the each side of the reflection is taking place okay uh, this is happening uh, just because the plotting is taking place and according the reflection is taking place on the on all the side now i can understand it's taking a big slower time so what i will do is that i will stop the process and i will uh, put some command line on the delay function so that it takes place in a much faster way uh, then the whole thing can be viewed uh, just to make you understand this delay was given but now I hope you can follow how the thing is working so there is no need of this delay so let the circle be framed up as quick as possible so let me just uh, compile the program once more and uh, let me provide the radius for the last time to see that how the thing is working do remember the loop will run until and unless okay I think uh, there is a delay function left behind and uh, that delay need to be removed let me see where the delay is uh yeah one more delay is left over here that's the reason the thing is working so let me compile it once more time and here it is and now let me give the value wow and that the circle has been framed up exactly uh, at the midpoint if the circle is there and the, the entire window screen this what is the size of the window screen exactly at the center the point is generated okay so we saw that how the circle has been framed up and we also saw that uh, the the literation of this loop the while loop the iteration of the while loop will continue so that so long the value of y is less than uh, sorry the value of x is less than y and if you can see over here the last value of x is 71 which is greater than y value 69 and then it terminates so until and unless the x becomes greater than y the loop will continue and then we will be able to see the circle formation and each time circle is framed we saw that how the reflection of one octant has been affected on the rest of the seven octant as a result the entire circle has been framed up so i hope the midpoint circle algorithm and the code is clear to you in my upcoming video i will provide more further aspect in regard to graphics until then have a nice time